Jackson and be on the way to Selma to that uh, bump shop to get the glass bags for a long time. Yeah, because I need the glass inspection though. So I heard it's a good shop. So right now I'm on uh, going eastbound on I-40. Yeah. So luckily, I've been having a problem with my fuel gauge. So I figured out what it was, but it just uh, sit tight and I'll show you. Well, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I was saying, there's a problem with the fuel gauge. Well, you see, it's not really empty, because uh, when I started the truck, it looks like it went uh, maybe a couple uh, lines after a quarter tank. Yeah, so uh, what the deal was, that they have the... See, see what the problem was, uh, I was uh, researching on YouTube, see what could it be. And, well, they keep on saying it's the float, uh, maybe the float valve, or float valve that goes on the fuel pump. Yeah, it looks like a hand, but it's made out of plastic. It goes up and down when the fuel is going up uh, sausage. Well, like just getting empty or whatever, it the gauge. But that fuel pump's been replaced, but, well, it's been almost two years since it's been replaced, so it can be that. Because I'm still getting fuel in it. It's brand new, so how can it go bad that quick? So, Another problem could be is the fuel gauge motor. There's a little motor that goes behind the fuel gauge, you know, for the needle to go, uh, you know, from full to empty. Yeah, so there's like little, it's like coils, copper coils, like uh, like you see in the alternator. So they say you can clean it up the dust. It collects dust, so the only way you clean it out is with a pencil eraser, but I don't have that, maybe I can try to keep it. If that doesn't work, I might as well get like a new uh, fuel gauge motor. And, you know, replace the instrument panel. At least get white face gauges. And there's like a shroud, well not a shroud, but it looks like a stencil with consoles around the gauges. So they got it in carbon fiber, so I might as well change all that in one day. Instead of just buying, you know, piece by piece. Uh, just uh, stay tuned about the, the last packs after I get them walled off. Maybe I just have like a before and after video. Anyway, we're going to do a before and after exhaust clip uh, with this, you know, with no mufflers and the other with last packs. And just listen carefully, please. So just stay tuned for with last pack mufflers. Well, anyway, uh, just got back from the muffler shop. It's down the road from here. I'm in Smithfield, and it's almost like about uh, two miles away down that way. Yeah, you can even see the Smithfield uh, water tower across the street. But it's not like water tower town in Garner. But I'll show you what the old pipes look like. Okay, this is what the old street pipes look like. Oh yeah, and look at that, it's, well, I have it over here, it's about the rust, and then there's a little blackness in there, what wood is that yet, yeah, mufflers are, the glass packs are like right here, so yeah, they weld it on, stainless steel, looks nice. But it doesn't sound as loud as the straight pipes, but I, I'll be able to pass inspection and intermission testing. So, we're going to play an exhaust clip. So, I did before, this is after.
Well, we'll see how it sounds uh, when we go on the road. So anyway, folks, uh, we're about to uh, we're about to test this baby out with the softwares. So anyway, uh, just got in, you know, back over to Selma. Uh, actually, this is like the boundary line. So this side of the road is Smithfield, and that other side is Selma. So we're gonna let it rip up on the hill. hear my voice though I'm accelerating so that's probably good. Now we're gonna hear what it sounds like with the windows shut. AC on. Yeah so all this is uh, Smithfield Selma area because we got I-95 on the other side. Yeah we got like you know fast food joints and truck stops and fuel islands and then uh, we got we're there where it says uh, shopping center. We got an outlet mall. Yep. Yeah, I, I wish I would have moved in this town a long time ago. Civic Garner. And then you got I-95, so yeah, these are access out of the state. You know, like if I want to go to Florida, or if I want to go over to Pennsylvania, I can. Yeah, I'd probably stop by to see that girl from my old job, and you know, up in Virginia on the way to Pennsylvania. Cause I miss her. So you probably hear me over, over the exhaust. Yeah, I probably would like turn around and go on the freeway. which is the east side highway yeah this one says uh, Benson well we're not going to Benson we're just going to go to the next exit over at the end of uh, that frontage road where uh, the outlet malls are at in Smithfield and I, I can't ever, I, I can never remember the name of that road there all right yeah we're just gonna hear how the truck takes off so off the window How we accelerate and we're off. Ah, not bad. Yeah, I'm just pushing 70 miles an hour. At least I'm under uh, 2,000 RPMs. Okay, that's the front edge road I was talking about. We got even the RV and camp trailer dealer there. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to pass this truck here. Yeah, that's some kind of technical center, business center, whatever. Uh, 
Outlet Center Drive, right lane. So that's where I need to go. That's, I think that's the name of the street. I didn't know the name of it. <laughs> the French Road. Yeah, it, this is weird. It, it looks like no traffic lights here. I mean, they should have one. Especially a lot of people come from out of state to get fuel. It makes it a lot easier on them. I like this setup here. I wouldn't have to go at that next red light just to turn a little right. And there's CC Pizza. I was looking for one over Clayton. I guess I didn't know they had it on Swiftfield. But, uh, you know, tonight's uh, pizza night at the gym, so as long as I'm eating, you know, some pizzas right now for lunch and then eating them later on after I'm done with the gym, pizza night. It's bored of it. Yeah, so I'm thinking uh, maybe I'll get some headers. Want to headers? Uh, I know Pet Boys uh, install headers. Yeah, so let's see how much it costs, how much the labor, all that, and then get that set up. So that, that probably, hopefully, I'll get that by Christmas. Okay, there it is. Uh, Carolina Perium Outlets, right there. And then we've got a Harvey Davidson store there. It's not the dealer; it's the merchandise store. 